Welcome to Bobcad Cam. Today, we will review five things you should learn about our NC Editor Pro. Number one, you don't simulate out of the toolpath. You simulate from your code. Our current simulator and most simulators of the industry will follow the toolpath, so the simulation will be a direct representation of the green lines you see right here on the surface. Our NC Editor will simulate the G-code. Once you are in the NC Editor, close the Simulate option. You can backplot, which means it will generate the linear geometry from the G-code. Better yet, if you want to see a better simulation, you can click on Verification, which will import the actual tool parameters and the size of the stock. This header at the top will give our NC editor the machining information. So, it is important to know that when you have G-code from any other systems, you set up a proper header. As you can see, the system will show the tool path and the actual tool removal material. It will also demonstrate any collisions and let us know in what line of G-code they happen. If I stop the simulation and manually modify the G-code, you would see that modification in the simulation immediately. Remember, your machine cuts G-code, not tool path. This is why our NC editor is one of the most important additions to our CAD CAM software. Number two, understanding and optimizing G-code. You'll first notice that everything is color-coded and you can modify those colors. Also, when your controller runs out of memory, our NC Editor Pro can optimize and reduce the number of lines. You can remove the blank spaces, remove spaces, and even re-sequences the code. Number three, finding and replacing code. The NC Editor Pro can find and modify values. The most important element is that the system knows you are searching through G-code. So you can match case, match whole word, or regex to find patterns in the code. Number four, modify values. This functionality is vital. If you need to compensate on the specific axis or go deeper on Z axis, all you have to do is select the word you want to modify, the type of operation, and then the value. Then simply select if you want to apply this to a selection until the next tool change for the whole file. As you can see, I have modified the x-axis to add one inch to all the values in the code. Number five, modify feed rates and spindle speeds. You can quickly modify the feed rate or the spindle speeds within this dialog box. Just like the value edit, you can apply this to your selection until the next tool change or the whole file. As you can see, our current feed rate is 107, so I will increase it to 200%. We'll press OK, and our feed rates will be modified automatically in seconds. As a bonus, if you communicate with your machine via RS32 cable, we got you covered. Click on Tools, start the DNC transfer, and set up your communication protocol to send the information via RS32 cable. Now, not all machines have that option. But if your machine has memory restrictions, this will be a good solution to gradually drip feed your code to the machine controller. That's it for today. We hope you find this video helpful. We look forward to the next one. Thank you.